this video segment is that of a female patient study of the pelvic region first of all in the suprapubic region in the longitudinal section I am seeing uterus in a longitudinal section and aligning it with the vagina the uterus this is the cervix the anterior lip the posterior lip of the cervix this is the cervix in fact this is the cervix this is the cervical canal this is the vagina this line represents the air in the vagina now this is the urinary bladder this is the uterus this is the fundus of the uterus this area this is the anterior wall this is the posterior wall and this is the endometrial canal now the endometrial canal when you see in this shape with an ecogenic line within it and having little bit of fluid uh, ecogenic line in the center and with little fluid around it denotes mid cycle endometrial canal it measures 11 mm and the uterus measures 7.4 cm in length and 4.1 cm in anterior posterior diameter which is normal now you see this i am going to focus the endometrial canal only this is a typical mid cycle endometrial canal this one just concentrate on the endometrial canal at present this is the endometrial canal here you see a central thread like area in the center with small amount of fluid on its both sides so this is a mid cycle endometrial canal why i am stressing towards the mid cycle endometrial canal is that you see fluid posterior to the uterus this black area is the fluid this is the fluid posterior to the uterus this is the fluid this is the fluid posterior to the uterus with mid cycle endometrial canal whenever you see now the important point to remember is whenever you see a uterus in mid cycle and minimal amount of fluid in the pelvic cavity or it is suggestive of post ovulatory fluid and is not pathological it is physiological post ovulatory fluid should not be labeled as pid pelvic inflammatory disease is the main function was the main reason to study this section mid cycle endometrial canal uterus and fluid you can see as a black line posterior to the uterus in the pelvic cavity or called the sac now this is post ovulatory fluid not infective that is it's not the id <coughs> now you see the fluid this is all fluid this black area is the fluid this one and this is the uterus this is the left ovary now 
this is left ovary with follicular activity seen in it. And here you see the right ovary. This is the right ovary with follicular activity. This is a follicle, this is a follicle, and there are two follicles over here. This is the right ovary, this is the uterus in transfer section, anterior segment, posterior segment, this is the mid cycle endometrial canal, this is the urinary bladder. So this is the transfer section with both ovaries seen normal and fluid seen in the pelvic cavity that is post ovulatory. So this section of study is to make you cautious so that you don't make a mistake while reporting that this is PID, this is post ovulatory fluid. magnified the image now this is all fluid it is clear it does not contain any echoes in it 